The governor of Delta State has approved housing and car loans for all confirmed civil servants in Delta State. This was made public by the Delta State Head of Service, Reginald Bayoko, during the opening ceremony of the sixth edition of the inter Transfer Training in Asaba, the state capital. Our Asaba correspondent at Pomodoro Friday reported that the Head of Service of Delta State, Mr. Reginald Bayoko, said that the new approval will enable all civil servants to build houses and acquire cars before retirement. Bayoko reiterated that the interest rate is in single digits. The loans are alone accessed once in service. The approvals that we have been seeking in the past for car loan and housing loan was, for instance, a hundred million. And when the governor came, he doubled it. Wow. Yes. Uh, and that effort was an ongoing one with uh, our leader too, Governor Okoa. But the governor gave a stamp, the current governor, Sheriff Oboroe, gave a stamp to it. And in, in addition, Governor Okoa gave approval to expand the value of the facility to an individual. So let's just take, for instance, if you are on level eight, you are entitled to one million. Governor Okowa gave approval to expand it to two million. And Governor Sheriff Oborowere understood the fact that you cannot rely on the hundred million that was released before. And in line with his more agenda, he added more to it. On their part, some of the civil servants seeking credit transfer were enjoined to remain professional in order to make their mark in civil service. I'm here this morning to participate in the Takeda transfer and transfer of service. And I'm so excited being here and I, I give God all the glory because it's by the grace of God that I'm being here. I know so many people applied to be here, but they, we are not taken and by God's grace I'm here. Okay, so. on I'm transferring from High Court Judiciary to Accountant General's Office because I did my program in the um, Association of National Accountants of Nigeria, ANAN. So I have the certificate and that's why the reason why I'm transferring my service to the Accountant General's Office. Transferring from the technical cadre to the officer's cadre. You are in the technical cadre if you come in with maybe HND or something but you still need to pass your professional exams or probably go and run a BSc before you can then be, you know, accepted into the officer's cadre. I've been on the technical cadre for quite some time, stagnated on 14. So I'm seeking to at least switch over so I can go beyond 14. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.